to step back. We're at the foot of the Verunga Mountains and getting a briefing on how to behave around the mountain gorilla. That's what everyone here has come to see, and they've paid $1,500 each to spend one hour with the great apes in their habitat. Are you excited? I am beyond excited. This is a international treasure that is being protected in Rwanda, and I'm so lucky to be able to experience it. I can't wait. And uh, and and the cost is they put the cost up. What do you think about the cost? I, I think. I think that's fair. It limits access, certainly, to people who can't afford it. But I think by talking about what the mountain gorillas are providing for the communities, that makes a lot of sense. This hike is not for the faint of heart. It's beautiful, but challenging terrain. We trekked uphill for over an hour. Our guide, Augustine, shows us how gorillas get their water. <coughs> and keeps the energy high. And then... Right in front of us, a family, babies, mothers, and the impressive great big family man, the silverback. The young ones are curious. We have to move back, not to get too close. Others seem almost bored by our presence. Then, a display of power. We walk around to get another view. It's incredible how close we are to these mountain gorillas and they're very relaxed, just really watching us, watching them. Now these great apes were facing extinction just a couple of decades ago and there is some rare good news now. Their numbers are on the increase. Before we know it, the hour is up and it's time to trek back down. It feels amazing, it feels amazing. We're literally surrounded, we've been surrounded by three silverbacks, all the females. My heart's going like this, it's amazing. Rwanda's tourism policy, we're told, is one of low volume, high value. Visitor numbers are restricted and the price is high. It translates to $25 per minute for the hour spent with the gorillas. Tourists actually who come to see the gorillas understand um, why we've done that, understand that it's all about conservation for these species. Um, and you can even see it in the, in the, in the last um, recent sessions that we did. Um, our strategy has actually proven to be the right way to do this. Uh, we've seen a 26% increase in the number of individual gorillas. Um, so it's working, uh, both on the conservation side and on the tourism side. It's a fragile success story, critically endangered for years. Now their status has been adjusted to endangered. The latest census shows there are just over a thousand gorillas spanning Rwanda, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, up from just around 200 a few decades ago. But that still doesn't seem a large number when you think that it's the whole world's entire population of these incredible animals. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, in the Verunga Mountains of Rwanda.